<laughs> All right. Listen, that sweet soul music by who's that sings that song? Uh, Arthur Conley. So if you want to know who sang that song, Arthur Conley sings that lovely song. Um, so welcome, y'all. Um, in case you're wondering what the hell you just clicked on on YouTube, this is Big Mike's blog. I'm your beautiful host, Big Mike, coming to you from my humble home. Hope y'all are doing wonderful out there. I am doing absolutely fan freaking tastic. So I just did a vlog that I'm going to post up soon on dating. Um, so feel free to watch that. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and my actually, sorry, my dating, my advice on dating. You know, so I like I'm giving some tips to those of you out there who are maybe floundering. You may be new to online dating and you have no idea how to navigate this big cesspool of online dating. So I gave some tips and advice and my perspective on things and stuff like that. So hopefully you liked it. You like it. Enjoy it. Let me know what you think if you haven't watched it already. Okay. So this lovely vlog I'm doing for you guys is I'm going to be sharing a story. Okay. So I don't usually share stories. And uh, for those of you who are fairly, who've watched my vlogs before, you kind of know that I'm into sneakers. So sneakers are kind of my thing. Okay. As you can see, I'm wearing like this shirt, this bread shirt. It's from Into the Am. So it kind of goes with the theme of my shoes and stuff, but also goes and ties in a little bit with my story. Okay. So like I said, normally when I buy sneakers and I have a lot of sneakers, actually I have 52 pairs of sneakers now. It's kind of gotten a little bit bigger, but you know, cause I'm a sneaker head, quote unquote, but I'm not a sneaker hoarder. I don't have sneakers that I just look at and masturbate to or whatever. <laughs> so weird, you know, like I don't, I don't believe in having shoes not to wear. Okay. Every shoe that I have, I have worn. If I haven't worn, it's because it's winter time as it gets, it's January right now. So I'm not wearing sneakers in the winter as well. You guys know, I only wear Timberlands in the winter. So, um, but I, like I said, I've given away shoes as well. So I'm not like a person who hoards sneakers, but I do love sneakers. So, and normally when I buy sneakers, it's pretty simple. You know, I sometimes have to wake up early. Um, if it's like a Jordan release, if it's an OG Jordan release, I usually have to wake up early, go to the mall, um, wait in line like everybody else, like God knows obscene hours in the morning, get my shoe and then I come home and I try to sleep if I can. Or if not, I don't sleep. We'll see. You know, it depends on my mood. That's usually how it goes. Or some cases, if it's a, just a regular old sneaker that I really like, I can just go to the store, pick it up, whatever the case may be. And, and or in some cases, I can order it online and then get it shipped to me. So there's a wide variety way of, of me getting sneakers over the past few years. Now, this particular sneaker that I got, and I got this sneaker a few weeks ago, was not as uh, easy as those sneakers in the past. It was a little bit of a ordeal. A little bit of an ordeal. Not a crazy ordeal, but, you know, I felt like sharing this story because... There's a purpose behind the, the reason why I'm, I'm sharing this story because there's kind of a, the point, the point I'm going to try to make is at the end. So if you want to hopefully stick to, stay tuned to the end of this, you'll kind of get the gist of why I'm doing this vlog. Okay. So I'll show you the shoes that I, these lovely, beautiful shoes that I picked up. So these are the beautiful, wonderful bread Jordan 11s. Okay. Some people may say that this is one of the greatest Jordans ever made. And some people will say that this is, um, you know, one of the, yeah, these, some people say this is great, great, one of the greatest Jordans ever made. Okay. Amazing shoe. Love this shoe to death. Obviously patent leather, black, white, and red goes lovely with this shirt and other outfits as well that I'll have. Okay. So this shoe was announced last year. Uh, I want to say December that these were going to come out. Okay. So I found out last year, December, these were coming out. They didn't confirm an actual date on this shoe until about I want to say April of last year. So once they confirm the date, because usually the reason why I say that is because they'll announce sh such and such shoes coming out. Oh, this shoe is coming out, da, 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 but they don't have a confirmed release date or they'll just give out, they'll just put out a random date, but it's not confirmed by Jordan brand. And if it's not confirmed by Jordan brand, that usually means the shoe is not coming out. So I usually wait till it's confirmed. So once I found these confirmed, these were on my list of shoes I had to get. So I obviously got these shoes. So, now we'll fast forward to December, I want to say the first week of December, because these came out December 14th. So a week before these shoes came out, actually I should say the Sunday, I, the Sunday, these shoes came out a Saturday. So the beginning of the week, I had placed a call to the different malls um, downtown Toronto. 
because normally um, some of the shoe, some of these sneaker stores they do raffles, and some of them do first come first serve. Now normally for me I do I'm a first come first serve kind of guy. I like to get in there, wait in line, maybe shoot some shit with some normal dudes in the in the line, talk about LeBron James being better than Michael Jordan or vice versa, depending on the argument, or just talk about life or talk about sneakers, whatever the case may be, or. You know, they do the raffle where basically you get you go there, like on a Monday or Tuesday, you pick up a raffle ticket, you go there Saturday, you pick up your shoe, then you're golden, right? So I called around to find out if they're doing, if the stores are doing raffle or doing first come, first serve. So this was the Sunday. So I called. Basically, all the stores were doing raffle tickets on Monday, Tuesday, which sucks for me because I'm a grown-ass man that works, okay? I'm not going to take a day off of work to pick up a raffle ticket just to get a shoe. As much as I love these shoes, okay, I love these shoes. I am not leaving work to get a raffle ticket to get these shoes. I'm just not doing it. So I was kind of screwed at that point. So um, what I did was I actually ordered these sneakers online through Kicks on Fire, the same app that I ordered the um, one of my shoes that I showed you on my top ten sneaker, on my top nine sneakers of 2000 and uh, sorry 19. So check that uh, list out if you haven't checked it out already. Um, so I ordered it from, I ordered the shoes from there. So I was like, listen, worst case, if I can't go get them in the store, I at least order them online. So I'm golden. So that was kind of my thought. Now, what happened was, um, now we'll fast forward to Thursday, two days before the shoes coming out. So I had a day off of work because I had a bunch of appointments downtown that I had to do. So I figured, okay, you know what? I'm going to be downtown anyway. I might as well just check out the sneaker store. See, maybe if I might get lucky, maybe they haven't done first come first. Or maybe they're, maybe they'll do first come first. Or maybe I could pick up a pair. So I went to all the shoe stores. All of them said first come first serve. Or no, all of them said raffles. So we already gave away our raffle tickets. So you're kind of SOL. So I was like, well, that sucks. So I went to actually there was this one sneaker store outside of the Eaton Center, which is called Exclusivity, which is a great store, by the way. Dope, the dope sneaker store. Check them out. So I went there, actually, and asked the lady there, hey, are you guys doing raffle or first come, first serve? Figured they were saying they were going to do raffle, but I figured why not ask, you know, see what they say. And she, oddly enough, said they're doing first come, first serve. I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, we only do first come, first serve. So I was like, well, I guess I might come here on Saturday. So she's like, okay, hope to see you then. So I was excited. I was like, okay, cool. Because I'm thinking, you know what, even though I ordered these shoes online, um, the sneaker, I'm um, sorry, the, uh, kicks on fire app is not the most reliable app. Reason why is because I ordered a pair of LeBron, LeBron seven, um, red carpet sneakers in October and they didn't, I didn't get the sneaker, but it's okay. It's just through PayPal. So I got my money back. So I had the extra money already. So I figured worst case, if I get this sneaker in per sneaker in person, and then let's say they ship the sneak, the other pair to me that I ordered online. Then I'll just sell that other mofo for like $400 and get, you know, some extra money. So that was kind of my thought. But basically, long story short, with the one I ordered online, they didn't, they, the door got canceled anyway. So it was okay. So I figured, okay, you know what? Saturday, I have nothing planned. So I'll just get up early on Saturday morning and then go to exclusivity and get my sneakers. That was my plan. Okay. So now we fast forward to Saturday morning. Get up nice and early around... I want to say 3.30 in the morning I got up. Got up pretty fucking early. Because I was paranoid. I was thinking, you know what? People are going to be lined up like crazy to get this sneaker. So I wanted to be there early. So I get to exclusivity. So actually, I took a lift there. Um, but actually, I ended up going to the wrong location. Ended up in uh, on Dundas, the Dundas location. Which was not... Actually, the Queen location, sorry. Which was not a good move. Because there was a lot of drunk people. Because me, like a dummy... I forgot that it's club night, so all these mofo and this is like the club area. There's some clubs around there. So there's a lot of drunk people around there. A few really drunk Toronto people that were there. These mofos are like literally Toronto through and through. They sound like they're from Toronto. They act like they're from Toronto. Like they were just like really drunk, really feeling themselves. So I was like, okay, I'm in the wrong place. So let me walk. Actually, I'm gonna take the streetcar to Young, and now I'm just gonna, you know. So that's what I did. I ended up finding the right location, and I went to the one at Young and Dundas location so i get to the store only about maybe 10 people in the line so it's okay it's pretty chill so far nothing's going on um so here's the first incident so um yeah the first incident so basically there's three guys actually i'm in the line 
this is about an hour has passed since then. Okay, since I got in the line. So there's about three guys that are walking past us, and they walk. And there's a um, 7-Eleven about two doors down from the store. So three guys go into the, the 7-Eleven, no problems. One guy now decides to come out of the 7-Eleven, and he starts harassing the lovely people in the line, asking them, "Hey, did you steal my man's jacket?" I think he asked something about if they if He's like there. He's basically accusing people of stealing something of his friends, or whatever. I don't remember what exactly he thought that they stole, but he was accusing people of stealing his friend's stuff. So then, his friend. So then people were like, nah, we didn't steal anything. Da 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 da. So these are like these lovely Asian people. They're very Asian. I think they're Filipino. Didn't want to assume, so I'm just gonna say they're Asian just to be safe. So he was harassing those Asian people. Then there was these two Asian guys, probably no older than twenty. They're probably younger than that. But now he goes to these guys now, and then he starts interrogating them. And now he starts getting really aggressive. Like, he's like, yo, did you fucking steal my man's stuff? Like, da, 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 da. like bro, did you steal my man's stuff? Like, he's starting to get really, really fucking aggressive. Then, I guess he had this man purse, so he pulled that out. And I guess he was pretending that he had a knife or a gun or some shit in there. And then he had one dude, like, pressed in the corner like he was going to stab him or some shit. I didn't intervene yet because I was just like, Jesus Christ, just get this dude the fuck out of here. But luckily, his friend actually came out before things got really crazy. And then basically was starting to, the dude came, grabbed his friend, and is trying to tell his friend, yo, let's fucking bounce. His friend's not trying to listen. He's like, dude, we need to fucking leave. Every time you get drunk, you always bug out. We need to fucking bounce. So finally, the dude's not listening. Dude's like, yo, why the fuck you grab me like that, bro? Like, da, da, da. He's like, you, dude, let's, and then dude's like, yo, dude, let's fucking leave. So finally, I step in because actually there's a fucking police camera literally right in front of the store where dude is sitting there pressing dude in in the corner. There's literally a a police camera that says Toronto police right there. So I said, dude, there's literally a police camera right up there, bro. Like, what are you doing? So finally, dude's like, oh, and then he finally and then his friend grabbed him and then they both left and dude said, yo, thank you. I appreciate it. So that happened. I'm like, Jesus Christ. This, and that's never happened before, buying sneakers. I'm like, this is crazy. Granted, that didn't involve the sneakers, but there's another incident coming up. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm like getting annoyed right now. Because I'm like, I'm not trying to deal with this shit. So what I end up doing is I said, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to go grab some food. Because if I don't eat, I might lose my mind if something else happens again. So luckily, there's a lovely breakfast diner spot called Franz at Young and College. I recommend those who've never been to Toronto to check out that place. It's very good food. So I went there, grabbed myself a big breakfast, ate that big breakfast, felt lovely afterwards, and then I walked back in the line because the line wasn't moving. No, there wasn't, the line didn't get any bigger. Maybe when I came back, there's only maybe two more people that went in the line, so it wasn't really that big. So then I was, then I ended up chatting with these people actually that were in the line. And uh, these three African-American gentlemen came up in the line shortly after. Or not came in the line. They started, they were, they saw a line and then they saw people in the line. So then they started harassing and asking the Asian people again. I felt bad for those people because they just get kept, kept getting harassed the whole night. They started asking these Asians, yo, what are you guys lined up for? And he's like, yo, we're lined up for the Bread 11s. Oh, really? The Bread 11s? Word? Oh, what size are you guys? Da, 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 da. And asking them all these type of fucking questions. So I kind of stepped in and said, because he kind of was, they were looking a little bit sketchy. I'm like, yo, dude, the price. He's like, yo, what's the price of the shoe? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yo, dude, the price of the shoe is like 330 You know, da, da, da. And then there's this other dude asking me some random question. And he's like, yo, you're, you know, like, he's, I, I can't remember what he asked me. Because I, because the reason why I forgot what he asked me is because this dude, I shit you not, had a fucking big ass booger dangling from his nose like he's six years old this dude's probably in his fucking 20s and all three of these dudes i'm gonna say it and it's gonna sound really mean but i don't really care they all look like a bunch of dirty dusty negroes there's there's no other way i could describe it to you they just look dirty and dusty so they're just asking a bunch of questions and then finally they said oh yeah yeah we're gonna buy some sneakers yo we're gonna come back we're coming back you'll save a spot for us and i'm looking at them like dude i'm not saving shit if you don't come back if someone else is in this spot, that's their spot, bro. I'm not saving shit for nobody. He's like, yo, no, no, no. We're going to come back. We're going to come back. They didn't come back. Now, they didn't come in the line, actually. Because actually, the one dude next to me was talking. He's like, yo, these dudes are trying to steal sneakers. I'm like, what do you mean? 
He's like, you notice how they kept asking people's size in front of them, right? A and B, they didn't even line up. And I was like, yeah, that's probably true. Because actually, those Asian people actually had drove. They had parked their car because they had brought, like, um, uh, lawn chairs and uh, umbrellas and stuff with them. So the plan, they're, probably those guys were more than, well, because usually if you're buying sneakers, you're not asking people what their size is half the time. Um, and you're lined up. You're not going to like, and then the thing is they kept coming back. They kept coming back. They would leave. They'd come back. They'd leave. They'd come back. They'd leave. You know, that kind of thing. They're just trying to see who was in the line and then they'd ask. So that's why I suspected it. Cause normally there's people that will ask sizes, right? Like some people say, Oh, what's your size? What do you, cause they just want to make sure that they'll have their size, but not, you're not going to do that four or five fucking times and not stay in the line. And then go and come back every two minutes. You're not doing that unless you're trying to do some jinky shit. So at that point, I'm like, listen, I'm size 13. So ain't nobody robbing me for my sneakers, period. I'm going to knock some people the fuck out tonight if they try. Because I'm not in the mood. So, luckily, um, one of the guys that was in the line with me, his friend was actually inside the mall in Champs. when, uh, And um, he actually had called his friend and said, yo... Champs is actually, Champ Sports is actually doing first come, first serve. And the minute I heard that, I ran to Eaton Center inside. Because I'm like, I can't deal with, first off, it was cold. Second off, it started to snow slash rain. And at that point, I'm just like, there's too much. And then third, most importantly, there's too much crazy crap happening. I couldn't deal with all this shit. I was getting borderline anxiety. I couldn't deal with all this shit. I just want to get my shoe and go home. I don't want to deal with all this drama and fighting and all this nonsense. So I just said, screw it. I'm going to go inside. Because there's security inside, so if shit pops off, motherfuckers getting kicked out the mall. Perfect. So I went inside. And luckily, I ended up bumping into a guy who I'm actually too tight with. And I've actually picked up a bunch of sneakers with him this year. Like, I got the infrared sixes with him. I got the bread fours with him. So he was there. So he actually told me that his girlfriend had called the champ, a champ sports. And they told him, they told her, sorry, that they're doing first come, first serve. Now, I told him. I came to this beautiful mall of Eaton Center and I actually went to that store and I had a black dude. I don't know this fucking guy's name, but he kind of pissed me off because of his attitude. He basically told me that they didn't have any pairs and they the raffle tickets were sold out in one day. And he's like, nah, that's not what they that's not what they told my girlfriend. So I was like, listen, I'll line up. I trust you. I'm going to line up with you and we're going to see. Because worst case, if they don't have the sneakers here, I'm going to friggin' what's it called? I'll just go back to exclusivity. Unfortunately, outside. But to make a long story short, they had my sneaker in my size. I think they only had like maybe one pair left. They had did a raffle, but they still had extra pairs left. And I was able to get my pair, which I've worn once, which I love. And it's a great shoe. It's a lovely shoe. So I'm very excited to wear this once the weather warms up. So, yeah, that is my story. And it may be a, mel- it may be a little bit melodramatic, but, you know, I just felt like sharing it because it's different than most sneaker stories that I have. And the point I'm trying to make is, unfortunately, that same weekend, and uh, my condolences to the family, um, there was actually a shooting in Atlanta over this shoe, in a mall over this shoe. In 2012, when this shoe actually retro, when they brought, the last time the shoe came out in 2012, there was actually a kid in, in Texas who actually murdered another kid over this shoe in Texas. He's doing 25 to life right now because he was sentenced, I believe, in 2016 over a sneaker okay um so to people out there who are into sneakers who love sneakers listen i love sneakers as much as everybody anybody okay i've been into sneakers since i was i can't even remember the age i would probably say like when i really really got into sneakers was probably when i was like 15 16 years old and i couldn't even afford sneakers you know but i would never rob and kill someone over a pair of sneakers like it's not that serious like i think i may have made a joke last year about maybe robbing or beating someone up for my to get a pair of concords because i've wanted that shoot since i was like 12 years old i was joking i would never do that because the biggest reason why is because nowadays you have flight club you have stock x you have stadium goods you have goat you have the sneakers app in the states you have in downtown toronto alone there's like seven or eight shoe stores between young and queen and young and dundas there's like seven or eight shoe stores. So there is, if you want a, sh- a sneaker, unless they have limited pairs, there is absolutely no way that you cannot get a sneaker nowadays if you really want it, okay? There is, 
like I said, this sneaker, they made 2 million pairs of the sneaker. They're going to be restocking the sneaker very soon. Okay? So, order it online, people. Or wait till they restock it and get it. Don't rob somebody. Don't kill someone over a pair of fucking sneakers. It's not worth it. Just so you can post it on your Instagram and feel swaggy. You know, because I didn't even post these on my Instagram like that. I posted on my story and that was about it. But it's not, I didn't post it to be swaggy. I just posted it because I really like the shoe. You know what I'm saying? And again, like, I'm someone who's been in the sneakers since I was, like, for 20 plus years. Okay? And again, I, I couldn't even imagine the sneaker collection that I have now. And the sneaker collection I have now is dope. But, you know, I'll kind of just show you a little brief glimpse of it. That's what I have. Okay? But at the same time, like, I would never rob or take someone's life or put myself in harm's way or risk my freedom over a pair of sneakers. I think that's absolute, utter lunacy. So people out there that do this, let's let's be smart people, okay? That's all I'm saying. Let's just be smart. Let's use our heads, okay? And like I said, sneakers are so accessible now, there's no reason in the world why you should be trying to do somebody harm to get a pair of sneakers. Because if this was like early 90s, okay, mate, even though that's not justified, I could see your point because they were putting limited, they were not putting out as many sneakers back in the day because they wanted to make it exclusive so only a certain people, a lot of people could get them. But nowadays, with like Jordans and shit, like these, there's 2 million pairs, bro. There's no reason. You can go online and order the fucking sneaker. Like, there's no reason for you to put yourself or someone else's life in harm's way just for a pair of stitched <laughs> leather and nubuck. And it's not worth it to me, you know? And if I wasn't able to... And listen, I ordered these online. If I wasn't able to get them online through, sne through Kicks on Fire, I even checked online they still have these sneakers on flight clubs start and stadium goods and you can probably get them through stock x if you really want them so you can get the sneaker you may have to wait a couple weeks but you'll get the sneaker so let's be smart that's all my whole point about it is like i said because that story and i find for some reason with this sneaker this sneaker is always kind of brought unfortunately like bad shit that's happened when people try to get the sneaker you know for some weird reason it's like the murder shoot charlemagne called it but, you know, to me, it's not worth it, okay? Like I said, that's my point. And let's be, like I said, just let's be smart. Let's use our heads, okay? Young or adults, okay? I don't, I'm not going to give you a pass because you're young. Let's be smart, okay? So on that note, I am done this vlog. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to be hitting y'all up with some more content. Um, and if you guys have anything you want me to discuss, hit me in the comment section. Um, like, comment, subscribe, like I said earlier. And this is Big Mike's blog. I'm signing off. Peace.